just wanted to upload a short video for Thanksgiving and the holidays in general. And I want to do two things. First, I want to thank my viewers, subscribers, those of you who follow this channel. I really appreciate it. And happy Thanksgiving to you, family, friends, loved ones, whatever. The second thing I want to do is offer you a very, what I think is useful piece of advice for the holiday season, not just Thanksgiving, but also Christmas and even New Year's, because Lord knows where we're going to be with this affliction that's uh, striking the country. Salim and I, my wife, we were talking about what are we going to do on the holidays? How many people are we allowed to have over? Now, we don't have any problems here yet in Florida, but who knows what's going to happen in the future. And I know many of you watching this may live in areas where your governor or your mayor is restricting Thanksgiving. How many people can you have over? What conditions? Whether or not you have to wear a mask in between bites? All those kinds of things. So Salim and I were pondering this question. And of course, I did what I usually do in these days, which is consult the Progressive Handbook. And there I found the answer. Now, if you go to that handbook, you'll see the difference between peaceful protests and mostly peaceful protests. Now, for example, if you want to have a peaceful protest against lockdowns, that's not allowed. But if you have a mostly peaceful protest in a salute to George Floyd, his memory, or Black Lives Matter, that's okay even if you're committing a crime, even if you're you know, uh, looting a Target, burning down a Wendy's. It's okay because it's a mostly peaceful protest and not a truly peaceful protest. So what we decided to do was to turn what would be a Thanksgiving celebration, Christmas celebration, or New Year's celebration into a mostly Thanksgiving celebration, a mostly Christmas celebration, a mostly New Year's celebration. So, for example, as I record this, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, in the typical Thanksgiving assembly, people eat turkey, stuffing, cranberry sauce, sauce. Uh, you know, any number of things, pies, cakes, cornbread, green bean casserole. I guess some people actually like that. Anyway, so what we're doing is having Korean barbecue for Thanksgiving. That means instead of it becoming a Thanksgiving celebration now, it's a mostly Thanksgiving celebration. What we're doing to Thanksgiving the equivalent of what they do when they loot a target in a mostly peaceful protest. So I think that's the key. And just to be safe, I printed out a banner on the computer, which I'll assemble the parts tomorrow and hang up, you know, a BLM banner. I printed out a picture of George Floyd I'm putting up. So we'll be having uh, our Thanksgiving celebration will actually be a form of protest in honor of George Floyd and BLM. And it'll be mostly Thanksgiving because we're actually going to have Korean barbecue. We're going to have pork belly and some uh, steak and mushrooms and onions and garlic wrapped in those little perilla leaves. And uh, we're actually going to have some soju too, maybe several types of soju, although I can't drink very much, but I can have some soju on a mostly Thanksgiving celebration. So I hope you'll find this tip helpful as you go through the holiday season, and maybe you can cover your own ass by making your holiday celebration a mostly holiday celebration by taking these steps right out of the Progressive Handbook. So, in any event, happy Thanksgiving. I'm not even going to beg for followers or subscriptions on this one. Just have a good Thanksgiving.